What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, creating a sketch illustration of young Mufasa from The Lion King. For today's lesson, we need some plain white paper and a pencil. I'm gonna start the sketch off with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Now the easiest way to begin any sketch is to start with the basic shapes first and then layer the details on after. So let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start from the very top in the middle and lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Let's move back to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. Now I want to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page to define the size of the head. So from the center point, we're just going to move up, just mark off the top of our circle right about there. Let's measure this distance down towards the bottom of the center and do the same thing. Now I want to repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then over towards the right. Let's connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. So we start with the top left, and the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement in the center of a page. And we're just using this as a guide. So we can go back and just smooth this out. Now with our circle and guidelines in place, let's start blocking out the basic facial features. Now I want to split the left side of the circle in half. So from the outside to the center, I'm just going to mark this off. Draw a straight line going all the way up towards the top of our circle and then down towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. So find that center point, go up towards the top, and then back down. Now right in the center of these two lines, we're gonna sketch a small circle for the eye on the left, and we'll do the same thing on the right. From the bottom of our circle, let's step up. I'm just gonna mark off the tip of the nose and I'll draw an upside down triangle. We're gonna go up toward the left, and then the right, and I'll flatten off the top. Now let's go down to the bottom of our circle. It's gonna curve the mouth, coming down and then out toward the left and right side. Let's round up the side of the muzzle and pull this up just up above the nose. Let's draw a straight line going across the bottom. Go back to the left side, we're gonna draw a half circle, coming down along the chin, and then back up on the right. Now let's go up to the top and draw the base of the ears. Let's start at the top of this line, we're gonna draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the side of our circle. Let's go up to the top, draw a short line going up and out. Let's round up the ear, pull this down and then in towards the side of our circle. Now let's go underneath the jaw. It's gonna curve the body, going out and then down. Now we just completed the most important and most difficult stage in our drawing, which is capturing the right proportions. So we're gonna go back and erase some of these guidelines. Now once we finish cleaning up our drawing, we're gonna go back in and start modifying the shapes and adding a little bit more detail. Now I wanna start back at the eyes. From the inside of the eyes, I'm gonna pull this in and then down toward the tear duct. Pull this up and then out underneath the eyes. Now from the top, I'm just gonna fold the eyelid coming down and then out towards the point. Let's lightly add another circle in the center of each eye, the pupil. And we're gonna move down instead of adding some shape to the nose, starting along the top with a curve. Bring this around towards the bottom. And add some shape along the bottom of the nose coming down towards the center. mouth coming out towards the muzzle. Now I can add a little bit of fur detail on the outside of the muzzle going up and then in towards the face. Draw the edge of the mouth in the center, lightly shade in the center. I'll add a little bit of texture of fur around the chin. Now from the base of the ear it's going to add some fur going down and out around the jaw and cheeks. Pulling that down towards the chin. A little bit of texture along the top of the nose. I'm just gonna pull that fur coming in. Let's 
brush the hair in towards the center on the top of the head. Lightly add a seam of fur down the center. Now you want to modify the shape of the ears. Starting from the top, add some fur going all the way around. A couple bumps along the bottom. Add some thick hair along the base of the ear in the center. And lightly trace out the inside. Clean up our drawing again. Now I'm going to switch to a 0.9 millimeter mechanical pencil and start adding some more contrast and detail. So we start with the inside of the eyes. I'm going to darken this up along the inside of the tear duct and then fade that down along the side. I'm just going to add a little bit of fur texture going around the eye along the top. I'm just going to bring the eyelid down a little bit on top of the eye and brush this out towards the side. Darken up the bottom of the eyelid. And lightly trace out the pupil again. Now you want to add a highlight in the center, top left, add a small circle, and we'll add a glare, just crossing the eye with a curve. Darken up the top and then fade that down. I'm just going to add a little bit of a glare on the left side of the eye. Darken up the bottom and fade that down. And then we're going to darken up the center of the people going around that highlight and glare. Just going to add a little bit of fur texture underneath the eye. Just pulling that in. Now we're going to do the same thing over on the right. Let's start with the inside of the tear duct. Bring that down. And work our way across the top of the eye. You know, it's just going to pull a little bit of fur along the top, going up, and then darkening up the top edge. We'll add a light shade on the inside of the nose. Texture across the bridge of the nose, going across. And then we'll work our way down across the mouth. Again, just adding a little bit of fur texture, just brushing this down and then across towards the outside. And from the outside, I'm just going to brush this in lightly, going across the side. I'm 
let's move dark enough enough. I'll layer that fur underneath. some of that fur coming down from the mouth towards the chin. So we're going to refine that fur along the inside of the ear, along the base. Let's do one final cleanup before we add in our shading. Now we're going to move to the side edge of our 2mm mechanical pencil and just shade the inside of the ears. Working our way up towards the top. And the shading doesn't have to be perfect, and so it's perfectly okay to go across those guidelines. Just gonna feather this out. Adding a little bit of tone and shadow along the inside of the ear. And some more textures. I'm just going to brush some of that texture of fur from the top of the head coming down. I'm just going to add those stripes going across the muzzle from the center. I'm just 
gonna darken up the neck area, just underneath the chin. And it's gonna lean the shadow over towards the right. So the light source is coming from the top left. I want to switch back to my 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil and layer on some detail over the fur. So just inside those shadow areas, we're just going to extend this out on the sides and towards the highlights. Now we can use this texturing pass to add some more shadows to our drawing. So it's going to lean the shadow a little bit more over towards the right, which is the opposite side of the light source. Now, as we get closer to the end, we're just going to tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of young Mufasa from The Lion King. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.